For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, we're going to do this problem that they want you to express f as a Cartesian vector and determine its coordinate direction angles. The way this problem is done is backwards of the instruction. First you got to find the coordinate direction angles and then you can easily find f as a Cartesian vector since you have the magnitude. Now, they're not really uh, telling you what f is doing, but what they're telling you is that it's along as the same dotted line. And this dotted line is the line from A to B. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the position of A, then we're going to find the position of B, express them as Cartesian vectors, then we're going to find the vector from A to B by subtracting uh, B minus A. Remember, if you subtract vector V minus vector A, it's going to give you the, the, the vector, uh, the position vector from A to B. When we have that vector, we can calculate the coordinate direction angles of that vector. And those are going to be the same coordinate direction angles of this line because it's along the same thing. And then you just multiply the cosine of those direction angles by the uh, magnitude, and that will give you all the well, all the values we want we're going to give you the cartesian uh, vector form of this thing so don't worry i'm going to do everything this is just an overview of, of what i'm going to do so first we're going to find the position vector of a it has an x component a y component and a c component we're trying to find this position vector to do so first we need to find the projection that is doing in the x and y plane which is this vector right here. We're going to find this vector so we can get the x and the y. That is given by f and the cosine of 70. Easy trigonometry and you get that this is equal to 3.42. With this projection you can find the projection in the x and y plane times the cosine of 30 I'm sorry, this is wrong. The projection times the sine of 30 is going to give you this vector right here. Sorry, that kind of sucked. This vector right here, and this vector is the x uh, value. That vector is equal to negative 1.71. Now that same projection times the cosine of 30 is going to give you the y, which is this vector right here, and that's going to be 2.96. This is negative because it's going towards the negative x-axis. And the c can easily be found by this vector right here, and it's given by f times the sine of 70 because we have this angle right here. And that is equal to 9.397. So now we have this is negative 1.71i plus 2.96j plus 9.397k. Now let's find b. B is very easy to find. This vector right here, this vector right here will give you the y, and there's no c. So this vector right here is just 5 towards the positive, 5i. Uh, this vector right here is negative in, in the uh, negative y direction, 7 in the negative y direction, so that's negative 7j plus 0k. B was cake. So by doing, so to find a vector AV, so this vector from here all the way to here, you're going to do B minus A on, on the X, the Y, and the Z. So you're going to do BX minus AX plus BY minus AY 
plus b c minus c c wait sorry b c minus a c sorry plug in the numbers in you're gonna get that 5 minus 1.71 minus minus 1.71 let me write it down 5 minus negative 1.71 i plus negative 7 minus 2.96 this is j and this is k j plus 0 minus 9.397 in the k this vector is going to be 6.71 plus 2.86 plus 7 is going to be actually negative negative 9.96 this is i j minus 9.397 k this is vector from a to b now we need to find the direction angles and to do that we need to find the magnitude of this vector basically we're trying to find this magnitude of this dotted line so to do that we're going to do the square root of the x component plus the y component plus the c component which are these three values which is found and we're going to get that the magnitude of a b is equal to 15.25 since we have the magnitude on each of the values then we're going to find of a of b we're going to find the three coordinate direction angles which are these three angles and you can find them by doing the cosine inverse of the x over the magnitude cosine inverse of the y over the magnitude and cosine inverse of the z over the magnitude and these three angles are going to come out to be 63.9 degrees 130.78 degrees and 128.04 degrees now why are these the angles of the dotted line important because when two vectors are aiming the same way the exact same way then the coordinate direction angles are going to be the same for both vectors so all you got to do is multiply the cosine of each of these direction angles times this force because the direction angles of A and B are the same direction angles for F since they're both aiming the same way the dotted line and the force so F has the same direction angles let me write it down to reinforce the idea 130.78 and 128.04 therefore if you wanted to write it as a Cartesian vector you got an X component a Y component and a C component and to find them you do F cosine of its angle F cosine of its angle with the Y and F cosine of its angle with the Z and the values come out to be 59.4 negative 88.2 and negative 83.18 so the final answer is going to be f is equal to 59.4 in the i direction minus 88.2 in the j direction minus 83.18 in the k direction So they want you to express it as a Cartesian vector and find its direction angles. Direction angles, Cartesian vector. The only tip I have for this is that make sure that you understand that to find the vector from A to B, you need to subtract the B components minus the A components. Remember that because if you do A minus B, you're going to get this vector right here and the angles is going to be as if you were finding this force and this is wrong you need to do 
the vector from A to B, which means B components minus A components. So final answers. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.